second shot is up. It's good. So Burgess goes two for two for the line. And just as we've seen in the past, as soon as someone gets their successful shots or unsuccessful shots of the line, they are taken out of the game. And in this case, Burgess steps out and Fossil back in the game with 127 remaining, 38-29, a nine-point lead by the Lady Spartans. The Spartans can somewhat back off here. Niles obviously can't afford to commit another foul unless he absolutely has to. Niles in the game, as is Felice. Fossil also in the game is Whitrick. Cannon is with the ball, perimeter passing once again. They're both big girls are in the three-point area. Air ball, and Fossil gets the rebound. Felice will bring it up with one minute left in the game. One minute exactly, and Felice is fouled in the backcourt, and she'll go to the line. So, I think we can say we're winning this game. <laughs> so, call up your travel agent. We just want to thank uh, the Lady Spartans also throughout the year. Uh, for allowing Steve Weed and his production unit to uh, showcase many of the games. A lot of those games are available on, on DVD. The first shot is good. Police will set up for a second shot here. 39-29, now back to a 10-point lead. One minute remaining when the game resumes after this foul shot. By the way, all the ladies' cards are on their feet. Second shot is good. And uh, the cannon is will bring it up. Less than a minute remaining, McGrudy. Back over the right side, the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, this is what happens when you're down by 10 with less than a minute left in the game. You just get flustered, and uh, you make a careless mistake. Uh, whistle on the court. A little confusion here as to exactly why. So uh, we're going to have to wait for the action to resume. Here it does. Niles with the inbound gives it to Felice. Felice gives it back to Niles, gets beyond the backcourt pressure. Niles with... Oh, oh, wait, a double dribble by Lindsay Niles, which is not a foul. It's a moving violation, so she remains in the game with four fouls. 46.6 seconds remaining. Uh, Lindsay Niles just lost focus there. So the Cannoneers will bring the ball up. Magruti once again back over to Dressel. Oh, check that. That's number 23. That's uh, Pearson. Three-pointer is up. That's no good. Rebound, Caramana. 32 seconds remaining on the sample scoreboard. Fast break here by Felice. She throws things up. Oh, she loses the basketball. Pearson brings it up. So gives it over to McGrody. McGrody will probably put up a three-pointer here, but instead gets it back to the big girl. Feeds underneath her. Her sister goes out of bounds, and it'll go the other way. 17 seconds remaining. The Cannoneer contingency now leaving the facility. Not all of them, of course, but uh, disappointed. They were favored to win this game. They won in commanding fashion last week with uh, 15 three-pointers, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, the Spartans will finish things off here. The jumper is good by number 42 of the uh, Lady Spartans. Karen Nata puts up the easy layup. 42-29, your score. And that will do it. And they move on. 42-29 in the final against a tough Waterville, a Waterville team. The Canadiers go down. The Lady uh, Spartans of South Jefferson move on to the next round. What a game. That game, of course, will be here at uh, Hudson Valley Community College at 4 o'clock. We will have that live broadcast, of course, at Magic 103.1. But right now, we...